How's it going everybody? It is Taco Tuesday, bringing you another base build. And today we have once again another solo base and I will try to get a medium clan base up soon. So starting it off we have four walls to center meaning that this little ninja star or honeycomb one by one or whatever you want to call it will eventually cost up to 8c4. But don't misinterpret this uh, because actually the foundations are somewhat weak but it really does make a difference in the raid because you can't really destroy two overlapping foundations at a time unless you're going to the corner. That's why it might be a little cheaper to go through the corner using rockets. So I will discuss how to prevent stuff like this in the base build. So don't go spam in the comment section with things like you're a fagotaku because I know very well I'm not very liked. So up to the furnace room we have our furnaces. So I put chests here just for the sake of you being able to pour, put some unsmelted uh, metal or your metal frags in there. So uh, there you go. That's what I like to do. You don't have to have them. You could have just furnaces if you want. But typically I like to have most of my loot spread out. So up here is the loot room that I struggled to get into. And it's really not that hard. All you have to do is kind of just jump up. It's just there I was doing it wrong. So ignore me. So we have a lot of chests here which is really nice because when I play solo and I, I just played solo the other wipe. I filled up my little 2 by one quickly and so I put a lot of chests in here for you guys so uh, you welcome in advance and there are lanterns in there for if it's night and you don't like the dark because uh, Casper the spooky ghost is going to come out and get you. Uh, well there you go there's lanterns. So up on the roof we have our water barrels which I only put two water barrels just because that's all that's needed. So you can use those as shooting ports if you want. So these sandbags can be used to look down because I didn't have ladder hatches in here because ladder hatches cost a lot of metal and if you didn't know, metal is kind of hard to smelt up unless you have a large furnace. So I wanted to keep it that way instead of wasting thousands of metal and ladder hatches. So since there's one entrance, I'm just showing you here that you can use the wall to hug your way down safely. So I'm going to clear up a little confusion. So the image that you're seeing on the screen now is what the base is supposed to look like on the first day to two days of wipe. And the image that you're seeing now is what the base is supposed to look like when it's finalized. So let's take a little trip back to this image and let's talk about why we should expand the space. So why should we expand? Well, it's overall just vulnerable to rockets. The corners specifically take only... 10-ish rockets to get through so that's considering that it's a triple layer that's kind of cheap so that's six less rockets than going through the actual honeycomb uh, next some of the chests are visible uh, so if you want to expand your base either way you're going to have to otherwise they'll be able to shoot your chest down so when you're ready for your loot room you have to expand and lastly it's never good to have any unused stone unless you're fully done with your base and you can't expand anymore so let's move on to the actual pros and cons. So starting it off, it has a lot of walls. So this little thing you see on the screen takes the same amount of C4 to get to the center of as, well, let's just say a 9x9, which is a lot. So it has lots of chests, which once again, I showed you in the base build, very good for solo play. It cost 20k stone for the actual ninja star, but if you want to expand it, the expansion cost 12.5k, making it about 32.5k stone. It's meant for casual players, so uh, any casual players out there, it suits your needs, so uh, that's good for you. Meaning that you'll be able to start with that little one by one and work your way up to the top. So next we have the cons. So. First of all, this thing needs to be expanded. You can't just leave it at that little ninja star expecting it not to be raided throughout the wipe. Next, it is generally a small base, so if you have four friends and they all try to get on, you might not be able to fit them in the base. So this thing might be able to hold two, probably won't be able to hold three, but any after that, it's definitely going to be a little crowded. So just keep that one in mind for when you're building it is how many people you expect to be living in here. And lastly is that it has a difficult foundation setup. So obviously I, it won't be that difficult for me because I obviously made the base. And unless you spent your time practicing and learning how to build it, you might want to set up an exterior one by one so you can prepare for setting this one up. To minimize uh, any confusion for the foundations, I will try to commentate over this. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to set up in a spot where it somewhat has a lot of room on two sides of the one by one, and you're going to go out eight on one of those sides. So once you go out eight, place a triangle and you should get something like this. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to build triangles all the way to this 
to the one by one and when you're done with that you should eventually get something that looks like this don't go all the way in get go until you can fit one foundation like that and then start removing all the triangles because you don't need these anymore I do recommend using placing cupboard first just because it'll be easier instead of just using arrows so here I'm just showing you that this is pretty much just a double layer and you can't do it with seven but you should be able to do it with an eight foundation out so there you go that's how you overlap foundations once you're done with that you're going to take out your handy dandy um, building plan and you're going to place it not on the stone foundation but the wood foundation as you see so you want to get it on the foundation that you just placed otherwise this next step will not work so just remember that when you're building that that it has to be on this foundation sticking out so once you have that what you're going to do is you're going to go out eight on that side so obviously i have not the biggest room but i still will be able to do it so once you go out, repeat the same process by going out eight, building a triangle, and building your way back in with the triangles. So let's just wait for me to get there because I'm not going to speed this up anymore. And once you get there, place your square again, and you should be able to place that in the center like that. There we go. You have three foundations in generally the same one by one area. So this will be able to double stack on all sides of the one by one, which will work really well in your favor. So once you're done with that start working on the walls when placing the doors make sure you're able to move and maneuver through them and when placing single doors make sure you place the first one first and the second one second uh and they have to be also in twig otherwise you won't be able to place them so uh once again make sure you pay attention to what you're doing and once you're done with that start working on the foundations you're pretty much just going to go out seven put a triangle and go in with your triangles again to form those little triangles on the outside of the one by one how can someone who has no interest in music own a record store? Give it up, yo! Next, start working on that little interior one by one by placing your cupboard in a corner and placing some large chest. You can follow along what I do, or you can just be creative and make your own. Obviously, put a bag in the honeycomb so you have a way to get back to your base, and voila. <laughs> All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. All right, so now start working on your furnace room. Make sure your chests do not stick through the wall because if they do, it's not the base's fault, it's your fault. <laughs> Alright, now for the loot room, what you're going to do is you're going to place these chests right where these low walls are, and you're going to place about 8 of them, I think that's 8 if I can count, and then you're going to place a low wall right through it. You could put it on any layer you want, I put it on the second layer because that works the best in my opinion, and after you're done with that, start placing your chest right above those chests, and make sure they don't stick it stick through those exterior walls. Is that a wild sound? Give me a whole run on it, give me a few runs on that thing. That is wild, where did you come up with this idea? 
I see. Well, you come up with a great sound. This next thing is called Fire Engine. I have a feeling maybe you have something to do with that. All right. Lastly, we have the roof and the expansion. So hopefully you guys aren't too confused. Generally, you're all pretty smart. And if you ha or have any slight confusion, please let me know as soon as possible because I should be able to help you in some way or form. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And peace. Missing someone. Missing someone.